Big week at Ozark Fence. We got three main things done. First, we head out to the Springfield Cardinals to replace a set of double gates. Second, we head out to my neighborhood to look at the pool gate. It's not shutting as firmly as the HOA would like, so we installed a self-closer by Nationwide. And third, Sarah and some of the Ozark Fence team head out to an event called Ball of the Wild. Now, stay tuned throughout the video, because if you watch these videos, you know we're hiding secret words within them so that you can use those words for extra entries in our monthly Amazon gift card giveaway. To register for the giveaway, find the link in the description below. One last thing. We go back and forth on asking you guys to like and subscribe, and I know it seems redundant, but when you look at the graph and the videos where I do ask you guys to like and subscribe, we have more likes and subscribes. In the videos where I don't, we don't. So, this is where I ask you to please like, and if you don't subscribe to the channel, hit that button. The guys are off to install a nationwide shotgun gate closer on my neighborhood pool. It's not closing as firmly as the HOA would like. Now, due to YouTube terms of service, we had to have them leave their swimsuits at home. We're out here in Republic today to put on a shotgun closer. Um, we just got out here and we're taking a look at the gate. We noticed that the gate is hitting the latch post a little bit. So we're gonna go ahead and adjust the hinges and pull the gate back, uh, make sure it swings right before we install the shotgun closer. Now, whoever installed the previous gate closer had done it on the bottom of the gate. There was some concern that this would create a tripping hazard. So Matt ground off the existing bracket, relocated the new bracket to the top of the gate, closes like a charm. put it back on see this band is lower and it'll give us more of a straight shot Beautiful. by putting that on the secret code is nationwide where we were yeah look at that right in line beautiful All right. um, yeah so I think right in there we ought to be groovy words of wisdom chase <laughs> run two Words of wisdom with Chase. Well, everything's going smoothly so far. I got, that's all I got. That's yeah, all yeah. I got for today. That's pretty level. Yeah. Almost exactly in line with this picket, really, so it's pretty easy. We still can go 90 degrees, so that's what we're aiming for. It's a big slam, followed by a catch and lock. What we've done here today is we've actually opened up this gap a little bit. Uh, when we got here, the gate was touching this post. Um, so we went ahead and adjusted the, the cornerstone hinges and got the gate set correctly. We got the shotgun closer installed. Um, we just put the right amount of tension on it. And before we head out of here, we're gonna take one more pass at it and make sure she's good.
So it definitely opens up to a 90 degree. That's good. People can get in and out. And even if they let it go, it's got just about the right amount of closing. It's not going to hit you in the butt on the way in, but it's still going to lock up. Sweet. Good day. Good day, baby. Good. Just like that, gate shuts nice and firmly. It's exactly what the HOA was looking for. Shameless plug. We sell these shotgun gate closers on ozfence.store. If you're interested in looking them up, check us out. Now, while the guys were working on the pool gate, John was back at the shop creating the chain link double gates that they were going to need for the Cardinal Stadium. Now that John's got the gates complete, Chase and Matt are headed out to Springfield Cardinals to get them installed. Today we're out here at the Springfield Cardinals. We're here to put some gates out in center field. Stay tuned. Uh, you'll probably want to back up a bit. here throwing the hinges up and I just saw an Ozark fence truck go by so I know the boss is coming. Hey Chase, pretend like you're working. What do you know Joe? Not much. It's a good day to be out of the ballpark. It's really, it really is a nice facility. Like you could tell, so the Springfield Cardinals get a lot of awards for the groundskeeping here. Uh, just because they keep it in really, really nice shape. And I mean, it's obvious to see, even in an off week, it's kept up really nice. So. It does look really good. So this is a strong arm latch. They're also referred to as a pioneer latch. We're gonna be installing it on these gates today. Um, we've also got some drop rods to put on the back side. So we're gonna try to figure out how the two of them can coexist. And we'll want it it's pretty much right there. Tied it all the way. So now it can't come off. It can still pivot. It doesn't have the part thingy. Yeah, I, I think we're there. We would need to get this one probably here ish. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we just wrapped up and we decided to go with the old drop rod that they had. It's in good working order and it's going to allow the uh, guys to put the padding on the outside of the fence without it catching or snagging on anything on the outside of the fence or inside the ball field. Um, we realized when we were putting on the Pioneer latch it just wasn't going to work. Um, so we improvised. We got her done! Job well done! Hey! <laughs> huh? All right. Once the guys wrapped up the Springfield Cardinals job, we realized that they were pretty close to a recent unique job that we had installed. And since Braden had his camera handy, stop by to check it out. Now this is a pretty unique product. It's a simulated stone and really from probably more than 10 feet away, you can't tell it's not stone. It was a unique product to us. It was specced out by the owner, a national phone carrier. 
While it was a first for us, I think you'll agree it went really well. We were really impressed with the product. Let me know what you think in the comments below. With the work week wrapped up, Sarah took a few of the team members to an event called Ball of the Wild. We love supporting our local zoo and this is an event they put on. But I'll let Sarah explain it to you. All right, we are en route to the Ball of the Wild. Can't wait. So it is an event that the Dickerson Park Zoo puts on for all of its sponsors um, that support them over the years. And it's really just a fun event. It is to recognize those that have given so much, um, but it's really, what's really cool about it is it's not a fundraising event at all. So there's absolutely no way that you can spend money at this event. Um, it's a beautiful meal. They'll have all kinds of different animals there. I think last year there was a bald eagle and what else was there last year? Do you remember? I think there was, yeah, I think there was an owl. So we're really excited. I know that the food is catered um, through SGC Food Service. And then I believe it's uh, Metro's helping. Avanzari, I think, is helping. So it should be a good meal, uh, should be good drinks. Uh, so we'll see, we'll see what's going on. All right, come join us. We have made it to Ball of the Wild. It's a very exclusive event, as you can tell. Hardly anyone here. All right. Let's go inside. All right, we are here at Ball of the Wild. We've got the whole, well, not the whole Ozark Fence crew, but some of the Ozark Fence crew. We've got TJ, he's an honorary member. All right, guys, we've got Matt and Sarah, Scott and Tammy, Jim and Josh, having a blast. You know, the dad in me really wants to say it looks like they had a ball at Ball of the Wild. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Another great week. We had a blast. I'm Joe Everest, the fence expert, reminding you that good fences make good neighbors. We'll see you next week.